Okay, so in this video, I'm going to teach you how to get started with UiPath. The first thing you want to do is go to uipath.com and you want to try UiPath free. So hit that button. It takes you to this page and you can see that this page is for people with work emails. Now I don't have a work email. I have a personal email right below my screen. You'll see get automation cloud for community. So go ahead, hit the link. And it should take you to this page where you can provide your personal email. Now I'm going to provide my personal email and a password. And I'm going to hit create account. Now a verification code has been sent to my email. I'm going to grab this code from my email, head back to my other browser and provide the verification code and continue. Now I'm going to provide a display name and I'm going to provide a country. You're more than welcome to check to tick this checkbox and you hit next. The next thing I want to do is create an organization for myself. I'm going to call this master of logic. Org. All right. And I hit create organization. And all you have to do is wait for a few seconds for everything to build successfully. So right after a few minutes, you should see your orchestrator. If you don't see your orchestrator, then you need to hit the reload button again and you should see it. If you still don't see it, then you need to wait for a few minutes, hit the reload until you see your orchestrator. Okay, just in case you can't see your orchestrator, you can hit the three dots here that says more options. And if you still can't see the orchestrator here, then you need to go to admin and within your admin panel, you should see tenants. Now you want to click on default tenants. Automatically UiPath creates for you a default tenant because every orchestrator would live inside of a tenant. So hit default tenant, and you should see services. Now you want to go into services and within the services, you want to click add service and you want to automatically bring in the orchestrator into your service so you can check the orchestrator if you see the orchestrator here and you add it as a service okay you can see my orchestrator is already added as a service another thing you need to take note of you need to make sure the orchestrator is enabled mine is already enabled so you want to make sure you have this as enabled for now mine is enabled it's already enabled and that is why you can see disabled so it looks good. I'm going to head back to the home and this was where we were. Without wasting too much time, let's dive into the orchestrator. I click the orchestrator. I'm going to close out of this dialog box. Yes. And this is your UiPath orchestrator. Just a quick overview of the orchestrator. The orchestrator is what you use to control your processes. For now, we do not have any process. But let's go ahead and create a folder in our orchestrator where we are going to deploy our processes. So hit tenants and you want to go to folders and you want to hit the new folder icon and you want to create a folder called learn and give it a description. I'm going to say UiPath practice. You can call it my UiPath practice, in fact, and hit create. And that should automatically create a LEN folder for you. Now I'm going to go back to the orchestrator homepage again, and you can see we have a LEN folder. Now within our LEN folder, we're going to be deploying processes here. The processes we are going to be building here would be UiPath desktop processes. So we're going to, we're going to be doing some desktop automation. So I want you to head back to home. So you want to go back to home. And you need to download the studio desktop. So I'm going to hit the download studio desktop and it's automatically is going to start downloading an executable file for me. 
okay so while our download is on its way i need to explain to you that robotics process automation exists in two main forms desktop automation and cloud automation now for desktop automation desktop automation is ideal when you are working with applications that are installed locally on your machine or desktop computer for example if you're trying to automate tax that has to do with or that have to do with processing data in an excel file or interacting with a legacy desktop application or automating browser actions to open websites on a browser then desktop automation is what you will want to use and in UiPath, we build desktop automation directly with the UiPath Studio Desktop. This allows us to record actions like mouse clicks, keyboard inputs, and automate tasks on locally installed applications. It is perfect for processes that require interaction with software running on your computer. On the other hand, cloud automation is ideal when the applications you need to automate are already cloud-based. For example, you want to automate a tax in your Google Drive that deletes old files or deletes old files from your Outlook email inbox. Now, since Google Drive and Outlook have cloud versions and they run on the cloud, we can build their automations using connectors and we can do this on the UiPath Automation Cloud. And to build cloud automations, you don't need the UiPath Studio Desktop. You can do that automatically on the cloud.uipath.com website. You would see popular templates to start with, for example, forward Outlook emails to another, extract data from an invoice file, and many more. The takeaway from this is that for desktop automations, we build using the UiPath Studio Desktop. For cloud automations, we build on cloud.uipath.com.